Hello, I'm back, Lutra FM, with another episode of the Coventry Retro Database Save. Um, sorry there was no episode yesterday. I waited all day for this parcel to turn up, and it literally turned up about about 10 minutes before my future mother-in-law turned up from work, so I couldn't do any recordings. I would like to have done both episodes yesterday for, to, uh, for yesterday and today, but it just didn't happen. These things happen in life, unfortunately, you just got to get on with it. So, um, but I do apologise for anybody who was looking forward to watching it. I'll um, have this episode today and I will do a bonus episode on, um, a replacement episode, sorry, on Sunday. So you'll get one today and you'll get one on Sunday. Hopefully that will help. But yeah, where you left the soft last, we are fifth in the league. Um, we've only played 12 games so far, but we're doing all right. I'm, we're doing better than I thought we would. And the last... Last episode we um we lost two and one two so it wasn't it was okay episode it could have been better um but we did lose to a very strong Southampton and Ipswich team in this episode we've got Barnsley Sheffield United Leicester and Watford um so hopefully we'll get back on track we've won the last two games so that will help us um just want to say before I uh, head before I go to the start of this episode just want to say thank you to anybody who's been watching me and supporting me on this uh, this journey so far. I really appreciate it and I hope you're enjoying the retro database, looking at the, the old players that I'm looking at. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you're enjoying it. Let me know if there's any players that you want me to show you in the video from the retro database so you can see them for yourself. And I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, here we are. First game of the episode versus Barnsley. Let's see how we get on. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll start the episode with him. We have won the last two games. Addy Bowler's in the team. So hopefully he can link up well with, with Leon Best. Uh, just let you know, every Sunday, starting this Sunday, I am... Hold on, let's see what happens here. Good start to the episode... Oh, not allowed. Um, yeah, I've started every Sunday for the next four weeks. Uh, I'm doing mystery football shirt videos. Um, the first one is this Sunday. So if you don't mind, give it a watch. I would appreciate it. Let me know which shirt, which item out of the two that you think is the best value for money. Would appreciate it. And like I said, every Sunday after every Sunday from this week for the next four weeks. Um, and then after that, it might be the similar. It might be what it might be the same, but only one. It might be only one review a week because they're costing me a bloody fortune. <laughs> they, you're looking about forty quid, thirty to thirty five to forty quid each item. So football shirts and they're not cheap. So yeah, so I might not do as many of them, but I'm just seeing how they get on when it comes to viewership and stuff like. That. So let me. Let me know what you think when you watch it, but they're not very long. They're about five or ten minutes each one. So easy Sunday viewing for you lot. Nil-nil so far. Been a bit of a boring game, if I'm honest with you. Hopefully that'll soon change. Barnsley with the ball. Oh, that was a good goal, to be honest. Our goalkeeper was a bit of a plonker there. I think it was a cock up by the defence and him. Right. Let's take some players off. Osborne. Uh, Doyle. I don't know anybody else. Hughes. And then we'll push these forward because neither of them are defensive midfielders I think we'll take off Leon Best Kevin Kyle up there and then what we'll do we'll wait a bit because we might still pick up some injuries and stuff but yeah really annoying that we're losing to Barnsley we shouldn't be losing to these And I fire up the players. Yeah, I'm really not happy about the FM25 announce, uh, announce
announcement about the, uh, well, I'm not bothered about the game being um, delayed, that I'd rather than delay it and make it a better game. What's annoyed me is the no international management uh, feature for FM25, which is which I'm gutted about because I, I, must, I think that's, they said 5.6 people are the, are the only ones that play international manager, but I don't think that's true at all because I know a lot of people that play it as international manager. I like to do, um, I like to do saves where I'm a, um, a club in a small nation and also manage the national team as well. They're they're really fun saves for me, and now I won't be able to do them. So I'm really not happy about that. Um, so I might just stick with FM twenty four. But I did say anyway because for the sake of content, I will be buying FM twenty five. But offline, I probably won't get in. Go on, JTAB. Offline, I probably won't be playing it as much, and I'll probably just be playing FM24 because it just doesn't really appeal to me not being able to do international management. Don't get me wrong. I like the fact that they've included women's football in this one. Um, I won't be managing a women's team unless I'm doing a ch uh, like a thing where I'll, I'll start as a women's team manager and then work my way up to like a big-time men's football job, but... I don't think I'll be managing the women's team. I not. I don't watch women's football. It doesn't really bother. It doesn't really appeal to me. If it appeals to others, great, but it just doesn't appeal to me. But yeah, I'm not happy about that. I'm quite worried with the fact that the game's getting delayed. I know they're they're using a new interface called Unity, but it's like it's they've had like eighteen months now. They sh they don't they shouldn't really need more time with it. Um, I've always said that Football Manager shouldn't shouldn't be out every year. It should be out every two years, but they're never going to do that because they're guaranteed to like they need the money. So that for the sake of the the future of the game, um, they need to bring out the game every year, even if it's basically the same game. So FM twenty four is slightly different to FM twenty three, but there really isn't much difference there. Um, but I don't mind paying them forty quid a year to play this game because the amount of hours I play, it doesn't bother me. But it, like I said, it does worry me. Um, and it's worrying a lot of people at the moment. But anyway, we drew 1-1 with Barnsley. We should have won that game, but at least we didn't lose. Now playing Sheffield United. Hopefully, we can get back on winning form. Sheffield United are top, though. So, yeah, I don't fancy our chances too much. But we started the game strong here. Three shots. They've already had to take a player. They've had two bookings, so we're definitely pressing them a bit at the moment. We're now out of the playoffs, so we definitely need to win this one to stay in the playoffs. Ah, we've got two bookings now. Uh, let's just see what the assistant manager recommends. Work the ball into the box. Play for set pieces. There we go. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Yeah, not uh, not an exciting game so far, everybody. I don't think we've had a single highlight in this game so far. Very boring. Here we go. First highlight of the whole game. Unfortunately, it's Sheffield United with the ball. They've got a 19-year-old Johnny Evans in this uh, in this save, Sheffield United, which makes me laugh. Johnny Ed Johnny Evans is nearly as old as me, even though I feel like he I, I, he looks like he looks older than me in some ways. He just he just has this mature look about him. Um, great player though, great servant to any club that he's played for. Even when he came back to Man United last season, he played as best as he could. Um, he was probably our best central defender last season. So you know, fair play. he's retired now in real life. So good luck to him. Anyway, best with the ball. Floats it over the top, headed out. Sheffield United in possession now. Red on the counter-attack. Lovely over-the-top ball to Sharp. I feel like he's offside there. Billy Sharp, Sheffield United legend. Best. Osborne over the top ball to Caro. Beautiful cross. Is this going to be allowed, though? Misford with his eighth goal of the season, I think. I just thought somebody pulled up on the drive there. I'm waiting for another parcel. Right, Pew's not playing very well, so we'll take him off and put Thornton on there. Uh, Borrowdale is not playing well, so we'll put 
get in the zoo to take you off. Uh, I can't take off the zoo. Alright, 1 0 though against top of the league, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can extend this lead now. No, we lose the ball. This worries me. Oh no. Get the ball off him. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rob Hulse, another Sheffield United legend. Oh, 1 1. Right. Take Michael Hughes on. Michael Doyle on. Um, all right, I need to put him up here. Actually, we'll put both of them up here. And we'll go attack him. See if that makes any difference. Encourage the players. I think it's going to end the draw though. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Would have been nice to beat top of the league. We're now eighth, eighth, eighth in the league now. We, I mean, there isn't. Look, I mean, you got third to eighth. There's like two points. It is is it is typical of the championship, and it to have like eight or nine teams not that far away from each other. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next game against. Right, we've got a game against Leicester City now in a sort of a local-ish Midlands derby. There is a particular term for it, but I can't remember. It's, it's something to do with a motorway or a road. I think it's on here on the inbox items, actually. Oh, if we go... There you go. All eyes on the M69 derby. What a name for a derby. Right there. Let's crack on. See how we get on here. I really do need better um, fullbacks. McNamini and Borrowdale are just absolute pants. Um, actually, just other than Ward, I could do it. The zoo's getting on a bit. He's thirty-seven. He can't. He, he shouldn't really be starting every game. But we haven't really got anybody else that can do the job at the moment. Ben, maybe Ben Turner eventually, but he's on loan out on loan at the moment. Uh, 16 minutes gone. This is basically the first highlight of the game. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful cross. That was unlucky. Kyle is offside. Kyle's had to come on for Misford because Misford's injured. Maybe he'll give us a different... Uh, a different... Oh, there you go, Danny Pugh. I'm trying to think now. So maybe he'll give us something different than Misford would. There you go. Right, one nil. Corner. Saved by the goalie. Best across to Cairo. Beautiful finish by Leon Best. 2 0 to us. Doing well in this game so far. We're now back up to fourth at the moment, but Leicester have got it in them to get them back in the game. O'Hara. I'd say Jamie O'Hara is more famous for being a reality TV show than, uh, star than he is a footballer, but. I might be I might be wrong on that one. Corner, headed out, headed out again, back to Cairo. Oof. Fair play to the goalkeeper, his responses were good there. But yeah, 2 0. Leicester haven't really been got in the game here. We've had eight shots, eight on target. Do, 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 
two nil, two nil, two nil, two nil. Eight points behind top of the league. Four points behind second in the league, though. So basically, we've we we will end this. I think by the time we end this episode, we'll probably be exactly the same place as we were when we started the episode. But that's not exactly a bad thing. We're still in the playoffs. We're doing better than I thought we would be. Scunthorpe in the championship. Jesus Christ! They're in um the Vanarama Conference now. I think so. They've had a massive decline. I watched a video on the actual rise and fall of Scunthorpe United the, uh, a few months ago, which was quite interesting. HTC Sevens. Um, for anybody who wants to watch it, he does very good football documentaries. He hasn't done a few. For, he hasn't done many for a while though. Uh, anyway, two 0 Who's out for a few weeks? Oh, Misford's out for two or three weeks. Great. Our main striker. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we've got a big game ahead of us now against Watford, who are above us in the league. I think they're second at the moment. So if we beat them, uh, we'll just be one point behind them. But if obviously they beat us, they'll be like seven points ahead of us. So it's a big game. Pressure's on them more than us I suppose because we're the underdogs in this game who's currently bottom of the league here Stoke was one of them I just saw there again Colchester United in the championship I don't ever remember I don't ever remember them in the championship I think Yeovil were in the championship at one point as well weren't they there's been some weird teams in the championship Watford not having a patient passing approach here. I think they're going to pick us apart at this rate. Oh, come on. He is offside. I'd, I'd be fuming if he scored that goal. He was clearly offside. I mean, the one good thing about... I mean, I know I don't like VAR, but at least with VAR, it would have like disallowed goals like that. Yeah, Stoke, Blackburn, Colchester. Yeah, Colchester. I don't remember them in the... Uh, Colchester and Scunthorpe were just... So bizarre to see them in the championship. All right, we've had to take a player off. Michael Hughes has had to come off. Watford's got a corner, hit the post. Nice tackle by Best. Right, just need to push Hughes a little bit further forward here. Hopefully that'll help us create more chances. Just seems to be all Watford here. I think we'll be very lucky to get anything out of this game. Good save. I think that was a save. Maybe not. Hit the bar, maybe. Yeah, I feel like it's not a matter of if. It's just when Watford are going to score here. That was a great ball. I think he was offside, personally. He is. Thank God for that. Ward, McNamini now, ah, loses the ball, oh come on, They just that was a beautiful ball, he's got a score here, yeah, that was a good goal, fair play to him, um, more direct, play for set pieces, hit early crosses, wide, uh, distribute to full backs, Distribute quicker. All right, let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Probably not, but we'll see. Half time. Fire up the players. See what happens here. I will miss doing the shouts on FM25 because I feel like it's the only thing I can do half the time to get anything going. I'm not the best when it comes to tactics. I just kind of shout a lot and hope for the best. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. That was unlucky. They're just absolutely destroying us at the moment. I'm trying to figure out in my head how to stop. Uh, I know what we need to do. Tactical opposition. So we need to just sort these mid central midfielders out. So they can't distribute the ball to him. 
So hopefully it'll put out them through balls. Have we got yeah? Just a foot always. And then just go normal. I don't want any players from getting sent off. Right, let's see how we're going to take best off as well. Kevin Kyle, let's see how we get on now. Oh, we've got to make another substitution. And then we'll take him off as well. Who do we put on? Wayne Andrews. Stephen Hughes with the ball still. The zoo passes it back. Ward. Have our players just decided to stroll here? We've just gone suddenly really slow. Oh my god, Pew, what are you doing? That's a beautiful over the top ball. We were supposed to be stopping these over the top balls. What's going on? Hmm. Maybe a 1-0 loss wouldn't be the worst result in the world. At least, at least we won't get thrashed. We've still got time. Right. See what we can do. McNamini. At least we're getting more highlights in our face. Oh, I stand corrected. We'll head it out. Oof. they're going to score here no nope. we're doing better We've, we're limiting their shots and the quality of shots they're having they're just hoping for the best here so i feel like we've done better in this second half than the first half but we just can't seem to retain possession for too long that's the frustrating thing about this but yeah at least we're keeping them at bay we are out of the playoffs now though which is really peeing me off this has not been the best episode. Can we get back in the game though? A draw would do us would be okay. It wouldn't be the worst result. Go on, Borrowdale. Beautiful ball. Oh, Kyle. You know if Misford was a uh, header and that, that would have gone in. Oh well. One nil. Oh, we're still in the playoffs. The other teams have done worse than us. So that's good. Yeah, go on, Ward. Come on, let's retain possession for like two seconds, please. Beautiful ball. Go on, Kyle, finish it off. Yes, get in. 1-1. One, one. Right at the end of the game as well. Very unexpected, but we've managed to climb our way back in. Good result, lads. Fair play. You got back in the game. You worked hard. You tried your best. And that's all I can ask for. Right then. On that note, I'm going to call it a day. Sorry it's a, a shorter episode than usual, but um, there will be another episode on Sunday afternoon, which will probably be a little bit longer to make up for it. So, yeah, anyway, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your day and all the best. Bye. Hello, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another episode of the Coventry Retro Database Save. Um, sorry there was no episode yesterday. I waited all day for this parcel to turn up and... It literally turned up about about 10 minutes before my future mother-in-law turned up from work, so I couldn't do any recordings. I would like to have done both episodes yesterday for, to, uh, for yesterday and today, but it just didn't happen. These things happen in life, unfortunately, you just got to get on with it. So, um, But I do apologise for anybody who was looking forward to watching it. I'll um, have this episode today, and I will do a bonus episode on... Um, a replacement episode sorry on sunday so you'll get one today and you'll get one on sunday hopefully that will help but yeah where you left us off last we are fifth in the league um we've only played 12 games so far but we're doing all right i'm we're doing better than i thought we would and um, the last last episode we um we lost two and one two so it wasn't it was okay episode it could have been better um but we did lose to a very strong southampton and ipswich team in this episode, we've got Barnsley, Sheffield United, Leicester and Watford. Um, so hopefully 
we'll get back on track. We've won the last two games, so that will help us. Um, just want to say before I uh, head before I go to the start of this episode, just want to say thank you to anybody who's been watching me and supporting me on this uh, this journey so far. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying the retro database, looking at the, the old players that I'm looking at. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you're enjoying it. Let me know if there's any players that you want me to show you in the video from the retro database so you can see them for yourself. And I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. 